and 21-36390. Each of these to the state of Texas versus Raquel Harmon. Are you Mr. Harmon? Yes, sir. Uh, Mr. Duster is here, your attorney, and the state's attorney and your probation officer. As you know, there are two motions to revoke unadjudicated probation that have been filed. That's what we're going to be taking up today. Raise your right hand. Do you solemnly swear or affirm any statement you may make during this hearing? Shall be the truth, the whole truth, and to nothing but the truth, so help you God. Yes, sir. Lower your hand. Does the defendant waive formal readings of these motions? Can we proceed in some? Yes, sir. And we'll take them together if that's okay? That's right, Your Honor. <clears throat> In summary, each of these motions similarly allege that on April 1st, 2021, in this court, you were placed on 10 years deferred or unadjudicated probation for illegal possession of a controlled substance. The case, the 36232 is illegal possession of methamphetamine, and the 36390 with the possession of cocaine. Is all of that true and correct? Your Honor, there was a, a post in it. report. It wasn't good. Okay. Oh, sorry. And thank you. It's references. He says, these motions, can we proceed in some? Yes, sir. And we'll take them together if that's okay. That's right, Your Honor. <clears throat> in summary, each of these motions similarly allege that on April 1st, 2021, in this court, you were placed on 10 years deferred or unadjudicated probation for illegal possession of a controlled substance. The case, the 36232 is illegal possession of methamphetamine, and the 36390 with illegal possession of Is all of that true and correct? Your Honor, there was a post in it. report. It wasn't good. Okay. Oh, sorry. And thank you. It's references. <laughs> Hello. <clears throat> Are you fixing this mess? Of your life? <clears throat> Dates back to 2015. You were placed in jail for failing to identify, and then there was burglary of a habitation <clears throat> charge in 2016, uh, unauthorized use of a motor vehicle in 2016, 90 days in jail, Fort Bend County. You weren't living right. You have prostitution convictions here. These are not good. Yes. That means. A way of life had to be changed. And then Change. we have, we're here on probation. Change for the better, for the worse. You're on probation for two uh, serious uh, cases here that uh, are where there's motions to revoke probation that have been filed. You're looking at. Uh, Second degree felony in three in each case. You're looking at up to 20 years in prison, right? You don't think that's absolutely serious? It is. All right. So the states, again, you were placed on probation for 10 years, deferred probation in this court on each of these cases. True and correct? Yes, sir. Well, allegation one in each case <coughs> alleges that you failed to report to the Jefferson County Probation Office as directed on or about November 2nd, 2021, January 10th, 2022, and February 10th, 2022, in violation of your probation orders in each case. Is that true? Yes. She was an absconder mm -hmm. for how long? Since oh, 21? No, 22. January 21st, 2022 is her last office visit. Okay, so we're going on three years. She's been out on her own probation. Yeah, yes, sir. If they want to play, they're going to play by my rules. If not, I don't need to play. Is all of that true? Yes. So how did you get arrested? I turned myself in. Oh, I didn't get arrested. Why would you do that after three years? 
But I was trying to get my get my life together and turn myself in. How'd that right work out to, for you? <laughs> Doesn't sound like you got your life together. I didn't get in no, no more trouble. Ma'am, at the end of the day, which probation were you on? The court's orders. You've been on three years on your own probation. <laughs> you're you're not that's not the way it works, right? Yeah. See you you follow your own ways. You like to dictate the terms, it seems like. You're not gonna follow the orders that set you free and fix the problem. What have you been doing for three years? Hmm? I was helping out my grandma and taking care of myself. Where? In Sylvie. Mm -hmm. You didn't worry like any day the police were going to show up? And say, we've got these motions to revoke probation. You're coming with us. Was, you didn't think that was going to happen? I was worried. Uh, you weren't worried enough to turn yourself in? Were you? <laughs> I did. Uh -huh. So what happened? You turned yourself in ultimately? Yes, I did. I turned when? myself in uh, August the 15th. Uh, this year? Three years later. What caused that? I was just wanting to take care of it. No, something. No, I've done this long enough. That's not a good reason is never the reason. It's always you didn't have an alternative. Something put, put you in a box. I, I literally was ready to turn myself in. I had just got my apartment. I was doing everything right. I know, why would you turn yourself in after you got ready to live as a uh, with with responsibilities and a residence that you had put money down for, why would you turn yourself in knowing that you're gonna? Because I thought that I had a chance to get it reinstated. Oh, is that what it is? Yes, sir. Who would you talk to about that? Um, I, sp I called the, the probation office and I spoke with one of the probation officers, and she told me to turn myself in. Yes, well, you knew there were warrants after your arrest, correct? Yes, sir. Well, that had... Were you working at a job or something? I had a job, but I, I quit my job. No, no. Did they? Were they about to find out about your warrants? Well, I, I have no idea. What were you doing? Find out. I was working at McDonald's or whatever. Well, they had, if they did a background check, they'd find out warrants were issued for you. No, general. I've done this long enough. That's when you're out for three years. When you just turn yourself in, there's something else happened. There's something else that caused it. Does probation office know what what was behind her surprising reentry back to the real world? Sir, she was. You were in the twilight zone for three years, Sir. living off the grid or something. But once you get on the grid, you try to get on the grid. You're going to get caught. And uh, number three here states in each motion that you tested positive on or about August 24th and December 13th of 2021 for methamphetamine. Is that true? Yes, sir. What was the, what was the last day she uh, reported? Reported. Um, it was January 21st, 22. <laughs> So that, that's what it was. After the December twenty, December 13th positive, she knew there's got to be a motion coming. Yeah, uh, I think she was on drop, looks like, and so she no-showed a few times after that. That's positive. And then you also tested positive number four on uh, December 13th, 2021 for methadone. Is that true? Yes, sir. And finally, number five, that's all we're going to go on because we can go on and on. On uh, December 13th and January 24th of 21 and 22, respectively, you tested positive for cocaine. Is that true? Yes, sir. Um, here, number eight states you failed to submit to alcohol and or drug screening for several uh, October, November of 21, January and February of 2022. Well, 
you knew what was going to happen. It's, you knew you were, you were flunking, and they're they're going to revoke you. Are you pleading true to allegations one, three, four, and five of these motions to revoke probation voluntarily, and because those are true? Yes, sir. You understand by a knowing and voluntary plea of true to one or more violations of probation, that is enough to grant the motion to revoke probation. Your probation can be revoked. You could be found guilty and sentenced up to the full range of punishment again. These are second degree felonies. You are looking at no less than two, no more than 20 years confinement in prison, right? Yes, sir. Knowing that, do you insist on pleading true today? Yes, sir. I find you are pleading true voluntarily. You understand and appreciate the consequences of pleading true. Yes, sir. So that's true. She turned herself in. She wasn't arrested. No, she turned herself in. Uh -huh. And what do you think was the reason? I have no clue. Uh -huh. So being tired of running? I was suspect. <laughs> Go ahead. No, I, I agree. I think she was just wanted to get What do you want to say about it? How uh, do you I think would, this all get resolved? I would recommend the court uh, to uh, agree with the. She's accepting responsibility, realizes she messed up, trying to get her life back in order. We've got an agreement for six years, TDC. I think that's appropriate. It's they say on my hands. Yes, Your Honor. I feel the same way. Uh, She's not really done anything on probation. Uh, I don't see where she would be successful in the future, so I believe this is the best way to resolve it. There are agreements here where your probation would be revoked. You would be found guilty and sentenced to six years imprisonment on each of these cases to run together. Is that your understanding of the agreement? Yes, sir. If I follow these agreements, you have no right of appeal of your cases. Do you understand? Yes, sir. Okay, in each case, I show you what's marked as State's Exhibit 1. Did you sign those documents voluntarily? Yes. Sir. Understand them, discuss them with your attorney, or the contents turned correct? Yes. State's Exhibit 1, in each case tendered? No objection. Without objection, admitted. This states you are giving up all rights of appeal if I follow these agreements. Yes. Do you understand? I'm going to do this. And anything else to add? No, sir. If not, I'm going to make the following findings. Ms. Harmon, in each of these cases, you have pleaded true to allegations 1, 3, 4, and 5 of the motions to revoke probation in each case voluntarily, knowingly, intelligently. That is enough to grant these motions to revoke probation. Your deferred or unadjudicated probation in each case is hereby revoked. Earlier in each of these cases, you have pleaded guilty voluntarily. You were mentally competent to do so. You understood the consequences of pleading guilty. There was sufficient evidence from State's Exhibit 1 admitted at those plea hearings to find you guilty beyond a reasonable doubt. And I now find you guilty beyond a reasonable doubt in these two cases of illegal second-degree felonies, of illegal possession of a controlled substance. Your deferred and unadjudicated probation is hereby revoked. You were hereby found guilty beyond a reasonable doubt in each of those cases based upon your original pleas and this violation of probation. I'm following these agreements. You are hereby sentenced to confinement in the Institutional Division of the Texas Department of Criminal Justice to serve a term of six years in each case to run concurrently. Do you understand what's happened today? Yes, sir. Fix this on your life and do better. Yes, sir. Okay. Thank, Thank you. you. That is all. Thank you.